The Washington Wizards are a super, like, interesting team when you look at it because they have two good players with Bradley Beal, and if John Wall comes back, even, like, 90% of what he was before, he's still going to be a really solid player. Plus, they have, like, Thomas Bryant, who's solid, Rui Hachimura, who is a really good rookie. They got Davis Bertans, who is a really good power forward, one of the best shooters in the NBA. Then they have other young players like Troy Brown Jr., Mo Wagner. You know, there's, they have some talent, but they also need a little bit of help to really get into contention for the playoffs. And I feel like I haven't done a Wizards rebuild in a long time, and I could be wrong, but I can't recall the last one I've done, and if I've done one. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try and build around, especially Bradley Beal. We might have to trade John Wall. John Wall is my favorite player in the NBA, but we might have to trade him. We'll see how good he gets. He is older. But anyways, yeah, that's what we're going to do for today's rebuild. But before we get into that, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already. I would really appreciate that. Also, turn on the post notifications, liking the video, putting a comment in the comment section below. All that helps me out a ton. So please consider doing that. But now, let's go rebuild the Wizards. All right, so basically, I want to see what's out there for John Wall. But I don't necessarily want to trade him. But if there is something really good, I would consider it. But judging by all these trade offers, I don't see anything. So I'm probably going to use him this season still. Um, and then try and trade him next year. But I do want to see if there's anybody else we could trade. Um, so let's go ahead. I want to see the salary cap. We have like no money. But Jan Mahimi's contract will be gone, which will be good. Um, we're gonna have to re-sign Bertans if we want him back, though. Alright, so, I think, for now, I think we just try and make, like, one trade, and then simulate this season. And I think that trade might be... Tro or Thomas Bryant. I just don't know how I feel about Thomas Bryant for this team, to be honest, so let's see. Um, if there's anybody, any decent players out here. Doesn't really look like it. You know what? I'm just gonna simulate this season. We didn't do anything to the team. I wanna see how good we are. Um, so I'm gonna let them handle all that. We're gonna have to try and sign a free agent and be good. We have some draft picks and stuff, but I wanna try to keep John Wall, but this season's more gonna be to see how good John Wall is and if he's worth keeping or if we should trade him. Um, but I'll see you guys at the end of the season. So we just lost a bunch of games, 53 to be exact, which is good. By the way, halfway through the season, I actually went and sent Rui Hachimura and Admiral Schofield down to the G League, so hopefully they're a little bit better. Um, we're not going to make the playoffs or anything like that, but Bradley Beal possibly could have made an All-NBA team, or he doesn't. Okay, so that's interesting. I bet he had a really good season, though. So let's go ahead and see what the stats look like. And I'm really interested to see how John Wall played. Uh, Bradley Beal, 28 points, only three and a half rebounds, or four rebounds, three and a half assists. John Wall, just not quite as good as he should be, I think, in my opinion. But he, he's an 84, so we'll see what he looks like into the offseason. But we need a lot of help outside of that. So let's simulate these playoffs and let's see who wins the championship. Um,. Philly against Denver. That is something I haven't seen before. I've seen Philly, but I haven't seen Denver. Shout out to Denver. They actually, they lost. I mean, Joel Embiid versus Jokic is a really good matchup. They went to seven games, and Joel and the 76ers won. You guys saw Joel won finals MVP. But yeah, that I haven't seen the Nuggets in the first season ever go to the finals, so that's cool. But draft lottery time, we have our own pick, and it should be top five projected, right? Wait, don't tell me we didn't have our pick. Oh yeah, we do. It's six. Okay, six. Sorry. And that goes to seven. Drops down to seven. So that's not the best thing ever, but it's not the end of the world either. Let's go ahead and bring in Donald Jones. Uh, Scott Brooks. We're going to keep Scott Brooks, I think. Assistant GM. We're going to fire and we're going to bring in Michael Williams. And we got both of those two. And then assistant coach. We're going to fire and we're going to bring in Otis Newman. And we got him. Okay, so with that being said, let's go to the draft. And we can get a solid player at 7. I don't think we need to trade up. So let's see who's at 7 here. Terrence Clark, Greg Brown. Don't need a power forward because we do have um, Rui Hachimura. We could use like a small forward, so Terrence Clark wouldn't be bad. Yeah, maybe we should go ahead and get Terrence Clark. And then we have another pick. We do pick 36. Um, Jalen Suggs, he, 
they have him way too low in the draft stuff. He's way better than that. But we got a 78 in Clark. And then in the second round, we got a 72 in Suggs. All right, so let's go to rookie sign. And we're going to sign both of them. And then team player options, Hachimura, yes. Troy Brown Jr., yes. Wagner, Robinson, sure. Qualifying offers, sure. And then free agency. So, let's see who we have bird rights on. We have bird rights on Bertons and Pash... I don't know how to say that guy's name. I'm um, sorry. But let's go to the salary cap and see. I mean, do we trade John Wall because we can free up some money then or like what I just don't see how we have any money if we don't free up that money from John Wall's contract we're still six million dollars all right let's go see if we can trade John Wall for anything I'll throw in our 2022 and 2024 picks can we get a really good this would be nice two solid players Brogdon and Turner that would round out our starting lineup so then we could have like Brogdon, Beal, um, who did we just draft? Springer or something maybe for the the three spot. And then we have Rihachimura and Miles Turner. So that would be interesting. DeJounte Murray would be cool. All right. Let's see if we just do John Wall by himself though. Kobe White. Yeah, not as good of trades. What if we did John Wall and these two first round picks? Pretty much same thing. Pretty much same thing. All right, so we're just gonna go back to this trade. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one, but I wanna see if there's a way to do it without this. Then they want Troy Brown Jr. and give me Goga Badazzi. I won't do that. Let me give you two second round picks though. Then they want Thomas Bryant for Badazzi. Not gonna happen. And I will give you this second. Okay, they don't want to do that. Okay, so why don't we just go ahead and give them this 2025 pick then? Okay, they don't even want to do that, but they would give me a 2023 first for Schofield and a second. Okay, I'll do that. That's a better offer than they had originally. And now we got to go ahead and re-sign Bertons. So we're going to throw them that contract. And then, can we get a solid player here in free agency? We probably could. JJ Red. JJ Redick is a little bit too old, but um, Jeremy Grant would be nice. We'll throw him that contract, and let's see if he comes in, and he does. So we maybe didn't need him because he's a power forward, but we can use him to trade. Uh, then we'll bring in Damian Lee, and like, actually, we get a point guard. Let's bring Ish Smith back to the team. And that's probably all we're going to be able to do, so let's go to player progression. Um, let's see how everybody looks. They should be pretty solid. I might try and flip Miles Turner and or Brogdon. I don't know. But right now, it doesn't look too bad. So that's that's awesome to see. Probably can trade Thomas Bryant now if we want to. Uh, but I'm going to go to training camps. I'm going to send some people to camps. We got to get these young players to actually like be good contributors for this team. Um, but we'll see how it all works. I'll see you guys at the start of our next season. So we have one too many players on our team. So we're going to take Ish Smith and pass... Don't know how to say his name. We're going to try and trade for someone. Derek Favors? Interesting. That's actually not bad. We could use Derek Favors um, and trade him. Okay, so we're going to do that. Now we have enough players to get into the season. So, Rogden Beal, Clark, uh, Hachimura, and Favors is the starting lineup for now. I'm going to trade Derek Favors right now, but we're going to make him a power forward and do that first. Because we do not need him at all, but we could definitely get something decent for him with like a second round pick too. Sharif O'Neal, Alf Burks, Chris Boucher, Brandon Clark. That would be nice. We'd also get Grayson Allen. We could get Miles Bridges, Mitchell Robinson to run the center for us. Then I could trade Miles Turner, but I don't want to give up Jalen Suggs, but I would do it for Mitchell Robinson, I guess. But we could also just, like I said, go ahead and bring in Brandon Clark. But we just have so many power forwards. Okay, we're going to get Mitchell Robinson. We're going to see if we can do it without Suggs and Brasdakis. Two point... Okay. So they need to send back $2 million. So give me... Oh, they really have no way to do that, huh? 
Brasdakis. Okay, let's go back and try and do that again. So, where was that trade? All right. Oh, not that trade. Let's go back. All right, so what can I do then? I don't want to give them subs. What if I gave them someone else from down here, like Damian Lee? Okay, they're acquiring too much money. What if I gave them like... Wait, Lee was too much money, so then how did it work with... Oh, Suggs is making less. Okay. You know, we'll just... Yeah, we'll just give them Suggs, I guess. That's the best thing we're going to be able to do. I don't want to give up Suggs, but... Okay, they have a counter option. They want a second? Not going to happen, dude. Bro, what? Now they're backing out of our deal. This is ridiculous. Okay, so we got Mitchell Robinson, which means we still have way too many centers. So that means Miles Turner is going to be gone because he doesn't get much better um, in all reality anyways. So let's try and trade him for like a wing piece or something. Maybe we throw a first with him. Spencer Dinwiddie and Miles Bridges would be super nice for this team. That would give us some depth at the point guard spot and the small forward spot. So we're going to do that. Okay, so we got Brogdon, Beal, Clark, then Hachimura, Robinson, and then Dinwiddie, Bridges, Thomas Bryant's a solid backup. We're pretty much set, except for we need a backup shooting guard, so we can trade like Troy Brown Jr. I'm going to trade Troy Brown Jr. and maybe Jer Jeremy Grant plus this future first. And can I get a backup, what I say, shooting guard? Um... Oh, that's actually really good, but we don't need those players, but that would be a cool trade. Um, who can I get at the shooting guard spot? Oh, Robert Covington. I could do some cheese with Robert Covington. I haven't done that in a long time. Let's do that. We also got a first round pick out of the deal. So let's go ahead and change Rocco to a small forward. Um, does anybody... Okay. So this is now the team. We could trade Bridges now for well what's up with contracts one year and one year um let's just take robert covington and immediately flip him with that first we got and then a second and see if we can bring in a shooting guard marcus smart would be cool for the shooting guard spot um jalen or karis lavert we could do that too what's lavert's contract two years left all right let's do that we're gonna trade for karis now we got brogdon beal clark then Rui Hachimura, Mitchell Robinson, and then Dinwiddie, Levert, Bridges, Bryant, Bertans off the bench. All right, this team is actually going to be a ton of fun. We got some people to re-sign next year, but I think this team is really solid and we can make a little bit of noise in the Eastern Conference. Uh, I'm not going to say we're going to win the championship or anything, but this team should be fun. Either way, oh wait, before we do that, let's go ahead. I always almost forget to do this. Let's set the system. Seven seconds. Seven seconds is pretty good, or perimeter centric. We're gonna go seven seconds. I'm gonna simulate this season. Hopefully this team is really good and we can win a championship, but it's not starting out so great. I don't know, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, so season number two is over and we actually got 51 wins. So those first, like we lost our first three games. That was a little scary, but we actually ended up being pretty solid. So here are all the awards you guys are interested. Take a peek, but I'm more interested to see if Bradley Beal made anything. So he's on the Wizards. We're the Wizards, and I do not see any Wizards there. Um, defensively, no one. But then rookie team, hopefully our rookie is here. And our rookie is Terrence Clark, I believe. And he is on all-rookie second team, so shout out to him. We are the four seed, so not the best, but definitely, definitely <laughs> better than last year where we won like 20-something games. But Beal with 24, Brogdon with 15.9, Dinwiddie with 15. This team is solid. I think we could use a little bit better, um, just like point guard play in general, and maybe center play in general. But you know what? This team is solid. Let's see if we can win a playoff series here. We got Garland, Sexton, Kevin Porter Jr., Kevin Love, Rudy Gobert. It's gonna be a tough matchup. Uh, we're up 2-1 though. Let's see if we can get this next game as well. 2-2, okay, can we win another game? 3-2, and we win 4-2. Okay, so we got Philly now, the one seed, which is going to be tough. 
Um, they got Ben Simmons, Matisse Seibel, Tobias Harris, Clint Capella, and Joel Embiid. That is a tough matchup. We take one game, so it's 1-1. One, one. They take game three. We take game four. Okay. Can we take game five somehow? They take game five. All right, let's Simcast. See if we can force a game seven. It's pretty close, but it looks like they're going to run away with it here in the fourth quarter, and they do. Actually, they ran away with it in the second and third quarter. So they're going to move on. We do not move on. And it looks like they end up losing to the Dallas Mavericks in the finals. Luka Doncic is the finals MVP. That dude is just a monster. He's not as unbeatable, I feel like, this year as he was last year. Is that, do you guys have the same opinion if you're playing my league doing rebuilds? Is it easier to beat Luka this year or am I just tripping? Let me know in the comments, but I feel like it's been a little bit easier to beat him. All right, but let's go to the draft lottery. I don't know if we even know if we have any picks or anything. Um, doesn't look like we do. So let's just keep moving. Staff signing. I mean, like, do we go and get a better coach? I think we do. Let's fire Scott Brooks now, and let's try and bring in... I'm going to bring in Frank Vogel, hopefully. And we do get Frank Vogel. So now let's go to the NBA draft. Um, I don't... Okay, we don't have any picks at all, so we're just going to simulate through this. And we're going to go to team player options because we had no rookies. Rui Hachimura, we're going to accept that, of course. And then qualifying offers, all three of the, or all four of these players, sure. We got bird rights on a number of people. Miles Bridges is one of them. Let's bring him back. Um, we also get Thomas Bryant. And I got to get Mitchell Robinson back. So we got those three. Oh, shoot. Where is he? Where is Spencer Dinwiddie? Oh. Wait. Oh, he had... Okay, he re-signed last year. Okay, okay. So we have Spencer Dinwiddie still. So that's good. I was thinking he was gone. I was thinking there was no chance for us to have him. Wow, that wouldn't have been good. All right, so let's just make sure we bring all these guys in. And did we get... What? Okay, it looks like we got those players. But okay, good. So now who can we afford to sign? There's some decent players out here. George Hill, Nico Mel. I'm going to bring George Hill in, I think, as like point guard depth. And I think that's all we're going to do. So let's go to player progression. I think this team is going to be pretty solid, um, but I'm going to make some moves because we don't have any more time to waste. This is our third and final season, folks. We need to do it. We need to do it now. So I'm going to send some people to training camps, and I will see you guys at the start of the third year. All right, so the team's pretty solid, but we need to do a little bit of work. How good is Clarkson 81 only? Does he have good trade value? Like if we traded Clark, what could we get? Clark in a first. Clint... Chet Holmgren. Not much. We could get Sabonis. I don't need Sabonis. We could get DeJounte Murray and run him at the small forward. We get Ke And then Keldon Johnson as well. Okay. Okay, so that's an option. But let's first see if who else we can trade. Um, Like if we could trade Dinwiddie or Brogdon. Whoever makes more money. Brogdon makes more, so we'll try and trade him with like this pick. Kobe White and Laurie Markinen, Rudy Gobert, DeAndre Hunter, Victor Oladipo, Jimmy Butler, and Tyler Hero. That, those are some dogs. Those are some dogs. We could bring in Jimmy Butler to run the small forward for us. We'd have to bring in a point guard somehow, but that would be. Ooh, Dejounte Murray and Michael Porter Jr. Okay, that might be the move. That might be the move, actually. Jimmy Butler would be cool, but this, this is the move. Okay, so now our starting lineup is Murray, Beal, Porter Jr., Rui Hachimura, and Mitchell Robinson. Then we got Dinwiddie, Levert, Bridges, Clark, and Bryant. So we can trade Clark now. So let's trade Clark with... Let's throw him with Thomas Bryant in a first. I mean, could we get anything really nice for those two? Um... Not really. If we could get a backup big or something, that would be cool. I mean, Nurkic would be a cool center to have. So let me think about that. If we brought in Nurkic... Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so Nurkic is our backup center now. Actually, he's our starting center. Mitchell Robinson's a backup. We don't have a backup power forward, really. We run a nine-man rotation. And we would be pretty much set. I mean, 
I don't know what else I could do except maybe try and upgrade from Nurkic a little bit still. But that doesn't look like that's happening. What if we did, instead of Nurkic, we tried to upgrade like Michael Porter Jr.? I doubt that we get anything super good for him either. I mean, we could get like Ingram, who's a little bit of an upgrade. But Porter Jr. is kind of a bucket, dude. I think we're just going to stick with what we have. So we got a nine-man rotation. I just want to go ahead, set our system. Right now, we're at perimeter-centric. We're going to do balanced. Balance is good for everybody. We're going to simulate season number three. Let's get 60 wins. Let's be the one seed and let's win a championship. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. We even exceeded my expectations. We got 67 wins, which is just fantastic. Dinwiddie wins six man of the year. Um, and Frank Vogel wins coach of the year and he's our coach now. So that being said, that means we should be the one seed in the Eastern Conference. We don't have any all NBA members, just fine. Defensively, we do have DeJounte Murray. Okay, so with that being said, we're the one seed. We gotta check out these stats. Beal, still 25 a game. Porter, 18. Dinwiddie, 15. Murray, 13 points for Murray is really good. On top of seven assists and six rebounds. Just fantastic stuff. Um, Levert and Nurkic both played well. Hachimura is good. Bridges and Robinson are doing their thing. All right. So we should be able to beat Miami, who has Jimmy Butler, Tyler here. We almost traded for these two. Hopefully, it wasn't a mistake not doing it. Um. Tied 2-2. Two, two. Oh my goodness. If this is a mistake already. Up 3-2. And we win in 6. Okay. Sounds good. And now we got Boston. So Tremont Waters, Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Robert Williams. We should be able to beat this team. 2-2 two, two again. Come on. We're up 3-2. And can we go up or win 4-2? We do. Okay. So we now have Philly. Did Philly beat us last? I think Philly beat us last time. They got Ben Simmons, Matisse Thibault, Tobias Harris. Same team. Uh, same starting lineup, at least. 2-2 two, two again. I am sick of 2-2. Two, two. And now we're down 3-2. Okay, so we got to simcast this. Come on, force a game seven. This is literally the worst rebuild I've ever done. I didn't even make it to the finals once. The Pelicans win the whole thing. But dude, I didn't even make the finals one time. This is a total failure on my part. We should have at least made the finals once, but we got eliminated in the Eastern Conference Finals. That's just not acceptable. Zion and the Pelicans go on to win the whole thing. I'm disappointed. But I guess that's gonna do it for today's rebuild. I hope you guys still enjoyed, even though I didn't make a championship. We'll get it the next time. But again, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that. I would appreciate that a ton. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.